Hello everybody, this is Pyfins and Chinkets around today. I'm here to bring you a StarCraft match from the Go for SC February monthly finals or semifinals. Let me check real quick. Finals. Yes, this is the finals. Uh it's well in the top left side on this map we have Acers Bly. And in the top right, in the blue, uh, we have Acer's Nurtio, Plain Zerg, so it's a ZVZ. Um, a good thing to say is this is back from the end of February this year, so this is before the Queen buff. And uh, players just like, you better not insult me or I'll kick you from Acer or her herder herder and the overlords are about to meet Dude, why am I lagging so bad? apparently I am lagging really bad how about we just close Google Chrome that'll help so unsecurious uh let's see it'll probably we don't we don't see a pull yet for any of these players so we'll, pro we'll probably see a hatch first let us see. I'm I, I'm very bad at these shortcuts. I might just like oh, herder. What am I looking for? <laughs> Production. There we go. Both uh, players saving up close to 200. But we do see a spawning pool for Nurtio, but not for Bly. And that's a 15 pool, I I believe, or 14. Whatever. And, uh, oh my goodness. I do not know what it is today with my computer. But I am lagging. Literally, it is like nothing. My computer is just like extra derpy today. How about we close this? Okay. So we do see the hatch first from Bly. And not his opponent. And he decides to take gas. He's going to throw down the pool right now. And I like the positioning of his pool here because if the lings run, if the lings manage to get in, instead of just being able to go straight here, they'll have to run around here or come in through there. So it buys him a little bit of time to micro. And we see four zerglings coming on, coming along for Nurtio and. A queen, of course, standard as usual. Um, really, not much is going on. Nurtio is saying freaking hatch first OP. It's so strong. Oh my goodness. I am. Uh oh, and with here, the Zerglings are moving out. They're ready to go seek, kill, and destroy. Spawning pool, not even finished yet. Uh, this overlord's like raw. I see it all. How do I change my vision? Dude, I don't even know how to change my vision. I'm so bad at this. We'll find out later. Oh man, I'm liking these control groups. Uh, the lings are running in. And uh, really, there's nothing to actually stop this except for drones. We do have two lings out now. And we have metabolic boots for both players around similar timing. One's going to get it about, uh, I don't know, 15 seconds ahead of the other. But making six lings to combat these four, make, make, he's making sure he does not want to lose any kind of engagement. A Bane Ness coming in here, blocking off uh, this entrance slightly. Um... I think that does not delay gas mining. It doesn't doesn't really, not delay, but prolong. It doesn't matter. It's a good position nonetheless because instead of having getting to uh, just walk in here or walk, in, they have to come in like from these tricky angles and come. Th I think they can fit through right there, but it doesn't matter. We do see the hatchery for both players is now up. Putting a spine crawler down on the queen to block the path 
these two poor drones are like, don't eat me. And, uh, they actually get into Bane to see that there's a Baneling Nest, and, uh, Nurtio's like, alright, I already have a Baneling Nest, I don't care. And, uh, why wow, I'm really bad at these, uh, at these, uh, Blizzard UI. I'm just like, herder, I'm gonna sift through all of them. Wow, only 18 workers here for for Bly, but uh, he just made a big round of drones, so it's no big deal. Uh, Nurgio mor making more Zerglings and morphing in a Baneling. Uh, mostly because he's chasing these Lings around, and he wants some Lings to just control the map. We see an early layer here for Nurgio. He knows his opponent is just gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna sit on my base and have fun. Oh, early layer for both players. Oh, wow. Okay, this is this is insane. Still only two gas have been grabbed. So probably not any mutalisk. And we do see the roach one now throw down for Nurgio. Um I think this game is gonna carry on for a long time. Macroing and stuff. Once again, Nurtio gets in the main. He's getting good scouting information. He sees, oh, my opponent's going fast later as well. Good choice by me. And so he says, well, I can just produce a bunch of drones. I think the main might be oversaturated here. He, he probably can just go ahead and take a third, really. Maybe. Um, since his, his opponent's lair is now done. And there goes the spire. Uh, so is... Nurtio's layer is also done, but does not throw down the spire. He's instead getting roaches with the regeneration upgrade. I don't know, that's the movement speed. Derp. Ton and claws is the uh, regen and move. Uh. Uh. Oh. Bly, uh, having to make an extractor so his drone doesn't die, and then going to build his third. And, uh, Nurtio is doing the same, and he's taking a couple of links with him, so the same thing that happened to Bly does not happen to him, which I actually kind of like. Uh-oh. We got a few Zerglings here from Bly who were just coming to harass, uh, but he wants to try and get the cancel, but I don't think he's going to, because there are Roaches here. And even though Roaches aren't that great against Zerglings, they're okay, and they'll, they'll do their job. He'll probably just park these links up here to try and delay or deny any fourth if it ever comes down. Or he might come down and try and get a sneak attack when his opponent's not looking. And he's actually just going to run to the roaches and lose some zerglings. But it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. Um, he was going to go for the double gas here. But he sees he saw that Nurtio's uh, Overlord was here and was going to see that, so he decided not to get the gas, and Nurtio is moving, over, moving his roaches over to try and deny this third. Will he force the cancel? We do see 9 Mutas almost done, and 10 Zerglings. Is he going to cancel it? And there's the cancel, so this is going to give Nurtio a nice lead here. An early, way earlier third than his opponent, but there are Mutalisks out. And there's only 1, 2 Spore Crawlers. 3 Spore Crawlers to, to defend against this. How many queens do we have uh, for Nurtio? We have two. So we have two queens and three spore crawlers in total. Four, a fourth one just now being added in the main. It's nine mutas, which are just just, just hammering away at this third. And uh, Nurtio says, well, you got me with my pants down. And so Nurtio is now, what is he producing? More spore crawlers, more queens, and drones because he knows he, he can handle it. He also has investors on the way because he has an infest infestation pit down and he's going to try and land some sick fungals when they get out but he might just fly away trying to pick up a few roaches. This mutalisk is just like the total baller of all mutas. Um, I like what Nurtio is doing here. He's burrowing some drones at the expansion to maybe, I don't know if that actually denies him from building that, it might, uh, but he's doing that, so his opponent, uh, if he actually tries to build a hatchery there, he can't, and if he, if it actually is in range, 
then uh, you can snipe it. The roach just come out, snipe a drone, and they might just burrow again, so that's going to delay the third even more. But uh, Belias got one ling to check the third, so really, we might just see like a two base timing, not really timing at this point, a two base attack from one of these players, because neither of them can get a third up. Uh, they could try and maybe go for a hidden base, but this map is relatively small, so that uh, probably isn't the best choice. These roaches stand firm down over here, just uh, ready to do some, any kind of counterattack. Both players are hovering a good bit of resources because they can't get a third up to produce all off like all the larvae they have because they have so many drones because they are planning on getting a third. And Nurchio says, alright, fine, I'll take my actual third and not the actual, just second area. He might try to put some spore crawlers right there, maybe, to uh, help with any, like, uh, drones being attacked. But he can probably just attack from a different angle. He loses one muta to fungal, I believe. But we still have eight, twelve mutas on the field. And all we have are six infestors to counter that. Which, do they have Pathogen Glands? Let's check. Because Pathogen Glands is finished. Um, we're, we're seeing one attack, missile attack for Nurchio. And uh, Acer Bly says, alright, you can t you can have your third, I'll have my third. And at the same time, both players are getting their fourth with uh, Nurchio's being ahead. But this Zergling counterattack might force a cancel. Ooh, can he get it? Can he force the cancel? This is gonna be close. He gets the fungal on half of them. And it's at 30 HP and he needs to cancel it. Oh, and he doesn't cancel it. 300 minerals gone. And now, his opponent is gonna be a base up. Oh, and I apparently missed something important here. Easter Bly's, uh, hatchery is at low, is at a third HP, or two thirds HP. These drones are missing. These dro or roaches are missing. They probably moved out to stop this. But here, uh, here's a big attack on uh, Acer Bly's third, fourth other expansion, and uh, gets killed by some infested Terran roach friends. And now we have Infestor Roach versus Infestor Roach, and we have Mutas also for Bly, so that's given him a nice position. Um, Nurcio says, "Screw it." I want to kill the third, but a nice, a pretty good fungal on these infestors down here. Apparently, we're just randomly going to lag. All right, computer. I'm, I I know you you want uh, you just want to put it in slow motion so we can enjoy this. This fungal might okay. It does not kill the infestors. So these infestors escape with low HP. Uh, we only see plus one attack for our for Nurchio missile attack that is and no upgrades for Bly let's check his mutas no upgrades for either player we're 17 minutes in so really this is not a game but uh Nurchio just took Bly's third and fourth but Bly said uh, okay uh, I've already taken your fourth I'll just take your third out Queen's relatively useless in defending this and getting a nice Nice few volleys off on on Nurchio's third, and Nurchio's retreating across the map, saying, "Nope, you cannot have my base." And his base goes down, and now he's just gonna try and run into the main, cause he's crazy, and uh, he's just relying on his queen to kill it. But the queens are doing a terrible job, and a bane, one lone baneling there, just dying, and trying to kill the roaches. But the roaches are just sniping these queens. Look at these, like. Five, four, two, one, two kills. Two, 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 two kills. And not the best response by Nurchio. Lost a good bit of drones there. But Bly is hovering a lot of resources because he just can't spend them. And now he has a macro hatch, but this queen's got so much energy. And Bly only has two queens, so his macro has not been that good. He needs another. He needs to send this queen down there to puke on that base because he needs all the larvae he can get. Because look at how much money he has. He's got to spend that. And I know gas is like the most important resource for him here. But 
it's better to have freaking some lings than no units than less units and his main is just about mined out and he's saying, Alright, I'll go for the same third again or whatever number base this is and he's going for this base up here and said instead of saying, I like this base. Um Nurchino reestablishing this base over here because the gas is not killed, so easier to establish that one. And Nurchio is just marching across the map and he's gonna try to take up the third again. And Bly is counterattacking, saying, Nope. Uh, if you kill my third, I'll kill your third. But, um, if these spine crawlers, these spine crawlers are in a nice position to defend kind of the third and the natural. I don't know if this is really the best, um, because you can't really hit the stuff on this side. He gets a cancel, but he doesn't actually take out this fourth base of Bly. I really don't know if you consider this hidden, but, uh, he needs to take that out if he's going to be on two bases and his opponent's going to be on two bases but uh... looking at the unit count the drones pretty much even relatively low drone game for zergs these days creep tumor <laughs> so close to blocking the hatchery and the roach coming up here to say hey is he taking my fourth and nurcio finds that that did not happen and so now he's moving out across the map with 1-1. One, one. And, uh, it's gonna go see if he has the space. But Bly is reducing a big amount of roaches. And, and uh, is Hive Tech not? No, it's just making corruptors to deal with mutalisks. But, are there even any mutas on the field? There are no mutas on these field, on the field. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong player. There are no mutas on the field. So literally these corruptors are going to do nothing except for hit overlords. But a huge roach favor in favor favoring for uh oh my goodness for Bly. But oh my goodness Bly. What are you doing, you crazy madman? Looks like Nurcio did not see the th the fourth. And uh it's just like okay. His my man's mind out just about his main's got to be mined out but the corruptors if they could scout if they could see this they could just go they could just go to town they'd have a heyday you know how great it'd be for them but instead they're in the main dying to queens trying to pick off other overlords and he's saying there's there's a distinct lack of overlords here i wonder where they all are and then all of a sudden he's going to see it on his map here's the vision Let's check out Nurcio. Nurcio's going, oh god! Oh no! Oh no! The roach is in my man. He's going, pew, pew, pew. He's saying, oh, how am I going to deal with this? And meanwhile, he's picking up some of his roaches and going out. Uh, I don't know what he accomplished there, really, instead of forcing his opponent to not take his third. Which the infested Terran here are kind of just slaughtering every single drone. Uh, all those drones that were mining in the main that are all having a party down here. Oh, actually, there's not even that many here. A lot of them died. Either he sacrificed them or they got killed in the counterattack. Actually, I bet you they were here. And those That infester hit squad went with their infested Terran and just trolled everything. I was probably too focused on this because I remember seeing his camera go flying down over there. And um, clicking on the gas, sending more gas to gas because even though he's, he has a thousand gas, but that's what he has the least of. And Nurcio, huge supply lead. Oh man, you know, I should have I brought the overlays. Boom. No. Alright, let's try that. Oh god, what I do? Apparently, I am going back in time. By 10 seconds. Well, we'll just watch this 10 seconds again. Alright, control N. Oh. oh, I'm fancy now. And, uh, stuff dying. And just this just massive army of Nurchio just walking in across the map saying, Hero! And, uh, Nurchio is probably just gonna troll Bly here and just kill everything he has. Um, Bly. He got, he got a one. Oh, there's the G. Good. He, he's doing good, but look at how much energy this queen has. It has enough for, what is that, six, six people?
Fuchs, six injects, and really, that's I think that's what cost him the game because if we go back to like the mid game, we'll see he has so many minerals. Okay, this is not a good time. He ends up having like two thousand minerals. Like look at this, and his queen, even though it's at sixty six energy or so, this thing's not even being puked on. So it's just like he's losing units. He's three injects behind. This one, a full inject behind. And, like, at this, like, this is, this is what cost him the game. Because look how much, how much, how many minerals he had. Think about the extra larva he could get from that. The three extra larva. So, if he made, that's nine larva. If he made nine roaches, let's just say nine roaches, or nine mutas, that's 18 supply more of units. 18 supply would have put him as the same as his opponent. And, they never really battled, except for maybe at the very end, that huge drop that Bly did, which, dude, that was sick and nasty. And let's see if I can find it again. We'll just we'll watch what happened, because something went down. All right, let's speed it up here. All right, slow it down. This is like the death march. He's lost a lot of overlords to those corruptors. Those corruptors. One, one, one. Okay, they, they've only killed four, so he doesn't lose that many. But here are the overlords. Um, they're moving on in. Left three in the back, and he's dropping in. Now, supply is in favor of Nurcio, but his army's way down here, and he's moving on up. And he's just going in, and he says, rah, rah, rah. But then the, there are the hydras and the infestors, and look how clumped up these are on a huge fungal. This is what cost Bly the game, and those units are, and he didn't even send all of his army up there. If he could have, he could have got these guys stuck on the ramp and just like made a huge concave, like all the way around there. Although Roach Range is only four, so it would have been more like that. But that would have been like, imagine an area of units like that great, just better than here. So actually, either engagement would have been. Actually, there wasn't really much to spot the high ground here for Nurcio. Either way, Bly, sick nasty drop, but it didn't really work out that well. And trying to drop on the third here to just try and help him stay in the game, but easily gets cleaned out. Nurcio, there's almost no units. That fungal man, just sick nasty, just trolled everything. And this is, that. that's pretty much what was, was the game. The game, sealer, dealer, feeler. That's not even a word. Let's look at the units lost at this point. 9,000 more for Bly. Put up a good performance, but really his macro was just, his macro is what cost him. Nurcio had a way better macro. There's the G, the good, like I said before, and yep. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.